vibration, baby, if you wanna Spit a bottle with me, we could wrestle in our clothes Laugh until our stomachs look like eight-pack muscles It's a celebration, baby, if you wanna Spit a bottle with me, we could wrestle in our clothes Laugh until our stomachs look like eight-pack muscles And we'll party like we're 17 second year of computer science at the University of Waterloo. I'm currently 15 weeks into my first co-op as a front-end engineer intern at FAIR, which is an online wholesale marketplace empowering small business owners and independent brands to buy and sell wholesale online. So you know your favorite local shop? FAIR helps them source the goods and products that they sell. FAIR was founded in 2017, so it's still a startup, but it's growing super quickly and recently raised its Series F. I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed. I'm down at this waste time. Right now I'm working on some performance improvements to make the page load faster, and I'm trying to finish this ticket before stand-up. So the next two hours I'm just gonna be doing heads down work. I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed. I'm down at this waste time. Yep, that one's done. We'll be relaunching today. We have stand-up every day at 11.15, where we go through the JIRA board and update each other on the status of our tickets and raise any blockers. Just finished stand-up, and unlike most people, I actually stand up during stand-up. So that meeting was with my team, Retailer Growth, and we aim to acquire new retailers and encourage them to place their first order. The Retailer Growth team is awesome. I love working with them and I really love how everyone at FAIR is so collaborative and kind. Like I've reached out to tons of people across different teams and they were always happy to help. So I just launched a feature and I'm gonna go into the production environment just to make sure I didn't break anything. Right now I'm checking on the health of a couple features that we recently launched. We launched these features as A-B tests, which means that half the users will see the control and the other half will see the treatment, which is usually the feature. And this allows us to see the direct impact of the feature on metrics. One of FAIR's values is seek the truth. So we're radically transparent and we're equipped with all the information that we need to make data-driven decisions. So I want to talk about what I've worked on here at FAIR. FAIR moves very quickly, so you'll get to work on many things and ship lots of code. So it's not like you're just given an intern project for the whole term but you're kind of treated like a full-time. You're integrated with the whole team and working on features with everyone else. Now, as a front-end engineer, I work closely with the designer, product manager, and other engineers to bring new features to life using React, TypeScript, and MobX. Most of my time has been spent on feature work, but sometimes I'll be fixing bugs, refactoring code, or investigating abnormal trends. One of my favorite things about working at FAIR is that even as a co-op, you get to be an owner by being the DRE of customer-facing features. DREs are responsible for scoping out the feature, creating the tickets, staying in sync with stakeholders, managing timelines, working on the feature itself, um, running a launch demo, and also keeping up with the feature health and performance. But during my term, I got to DRE three features, the first one being a new post-order confirmation page, second being a mobile optimized signup flow, and the most recent one was contextual app download CTAs. It was really rewarding to work on these features and then see the impact that they had on key business metrics. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, right. All right, thank you, bye. So usually when I get stuck, I'll spend about 15 minutes trying to find a solution on my own, and most of the time I do figure it out, but today I didn't. So I pinged my engineering buddy slash mentor, his name is Fabio, and we pair programmed for a bit. Fabio and I work closely as the two front-end engineers on our team, and he's awesome. He helped me ramp up quickly and gain confidence as a developer. Even though I've bugged him with like a million questions throughout the term, he's always there to help. I've learned so many things from him through our pair programming sessions and code reviews, which have made me a much better developer. Man, that was kind of awkward. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this, please apply to FAIR. 
and go see you in the office. I think the most important thing that I learned this term was how to work with code that was written by other people. So when you need to make a change, you'll need to find out where in the code base you need to make a change to. It often involves following a bunch of references, opening up like 10 files, reading through each one, trying to understand how each one works and how they're all connected to each other before you can actually make your change. And so this term, I definitely spent a lot of time just reading and trying to understand other people's code. It's also important to reach out to the right people to gain context into features that might be overlapping with what you're working on or to better understand parts of the code base. With this being my first co-op term, these things were new to me, but I think they're very important. I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed. At the end of the day, I usually just work on YouTube things, whether it be planning a video, responding to emails and comments, or editing. I'm actually editing this video right now. It's like 2.45. As you can see here, I'm reading a book. And I'll be honest, I actually rarely read, but I just picked up this book, Atomic Habits, and started reading it yesterday. This book teaches you how to build good habits and break bad ones. I really needed this book because I have a terrible habit of sleeping super late, and I also procrastinate a lot. After that, I don't do anything productive. I just watch YouTube videos and eat food. I hope you enjoyed this fairly specific day in the life, and let me know what you think about this type of content. Who knows, maybe this will be the start of my vlogging career. And yeah, see you in the next one. And action. Stack overflowing some stuff. Now let's get the next shot. Good night. Okay, 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 I think I got it. Okay, 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 I get it. I'm pretty great. And you is living from a timid boy to hit.